Hey guys, Dirt and Rust here. Uh, I got another pocket knife to fix up. Uh, this one's been in my collection for a while and uh, obviously it needs some attention. It's a Stockman. Um, it's a hammer brand. Hard to see the logo on there. Got the patent number there. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, reprofile this uh, pin blade, you know, resharpen everything, clean up everything. I'm going to have to take these um, uh, plastic or whatever this is made out of uh, scales off and I don't know if I'm going to paint them or what. I don't know what I'm going to replace them with. We'll find out. I'll probably take the whole uh, shell off here uh, by undoing these tabs underneath. Hopefully I don't break any off. Pull this whole shell off. Pull this shell off and see if I can get rid of that dent too. Um, and clean out the inside of it. Get the rust off of it. So, I'll see what I can do. So here we go. See you in a bit. I just got the other one off. It was a little bit tougher, so I had to look under the magnifying glass and I had to get that one off. That's the clamshell scale there. And it's got some cleaning up that needs to happen, that's for sure. So I'll get to work on these here pretty quick. Let me see if I can just pull this off here. We got rid of that. Now I'll just work on cleaning these uh, shell scales up. And hopefully I can get rid of that little dent somehow. Okay, I'm going to throw it in the uh, mineral oil bath for a little while. And then I'll uh, continue cleaning it. Just going to let it soak up and uh, maybe loosen some stuff up a little bit and then I'll probably take the Dremel to it a little bit. Okay, so um, I cleaned up the blades a little bit. There's still some staining on it. Uh, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, I don't mind a little bit of that staining on there. I'm going to do some hand sanding, 
see if I can get some more of it off with maybe some 400 and then some 600 grit and uh, then I will go ahead and, and sharpen the blades and I'll reprofile this tip so it's sharper and then we'll see what I'm going to do from there if I'm going to uh, paint or what Alright guys, I'm going to use these straps, I'm going to use the um, these belts here. This uh, blue one is the 60 grit that I'm going to use to um, recontour the, um, the little blade here. Just to give it a tip again. And then I'm going to go ahead and sharpen all the blades initially with uh, the 120. Just to give it a an edge and then I'll use the strap to finish it off. I finished painting the scales uh, initially I was gonna paint them white which I did paint them white and I didn't like it and de I decided I'm gonna do this orangish red and then the paint came out all splattered and it kind of gave this uh, interesting design uh, so I just went over it with uh, some clear and I'm just gonna go with it see how it looks on there Worst comes to worst, I take the scales back off and paint them black or something, but let's just uh, give this a whirl, see how they look on there. Alright, so I'm all done with the knife. Uh, it's got a new lease on life and, uh, you know, I'll probably use it. And, uh, got the blade sharpened up. Um, got some of the staining is still on there. I just left it on there. It's, it doesn't bother me to have a little bit of that staining on there. got the patent number there and you can finally see the maker's mark a little bit hammer brand so let's go ahead and test the blades out a little bit on some paper and then we'll cut up some vegetables so here's the clip point The point's doing good. And then uh, 
I've got the spay blade here. Pretty good. I've got the pin blade. Ugh. I think I need to work on the pin blade a little bit. Let's give it another try here. Wait, okay. Hmm. Thought it was sharper than that. Alright, we got a fail on the on the pin blade. But it's good enough. Alright, let's chop something up here. Okay, we got a radish. pretty well and we got a cauliflower piece here all right there we have it guys done deal thanks for watching bye